let's go back on the record. But let me make something clear to you today. Prosecutor's office. What, what do you want to give me? Joe Lee. Fear of is you. Possession of a shopping cart. Oh my is God. That, is, that, is, that, is that a serious charge, you think? Is that a serious charge? Heinous. Heinous. Who is this? That's Mr. Farrell. Oh, he's. I said we sent it to. You. Should be on the test. Yeah. 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 Your name, sir? Jesse Cobb, fair call. Uh, two cases, 19-31536 and 19-32425. You were charged with unauthorized use of a motor vehicle in one case, illegal possession of controlled substance in another case. These are motions to revoke probation? Yes, Is sir. that right? Yes, sir. Yes, I have it showing some other cases, Judge. I just want to check to see if we need to resolve those as well. Let me see a present. Oh, there is. Okay, that's very different. We're good, Judge. The other cases, he's received a year state jail on those matters. Uh, I don't know what you're saying. Uh, I was double checking. There's multiple. He appeared with your honor, I think, on six cases, if I am got the numbers right. We disposed of uh, several state jails with a year state jail, mm -hmm. and you placed them on probation for uh, 10 years on the third degree is one of the, one of the other years. So we've got an agreement to dispose of them accordingly. Your Honor. Is there any restitution of on any on any of this? No, sir. It wasn't. Tell me about the probation uh, um, on the CP stuff. Yes, sir. Um, which is his, which is his big problem that he completely and totally 
yes, got sir. him into this. Yes, and then sir. he has quite naturally completely and totally failed on. Yes, sir. When I first got hired in October 2022, I met Mr. Faircloth. He was assessed with discharge from Zan Center. Um, he came to report to the office positive for meth. That was the only time he ever reported. After that, he absconded and disappeared. A few months later, they found him. He was offered an opportunity to go to safety relapse. Where he went to Safe Relapse, he went to the Cheyenne Center. While at the Cheyenne Center, he, uh, within the two-month process, he turned up positive for meth. <clears throat> we were doing the ASR to get him approved for additional 30 days when he came up um, violation of country ban. The country ban involved was a cell phone with charging, tattoo gun, several pills, nine batteries, broken metal spoon, thread, and black electrical tape. Before we can get the ASR authorized, Mr. Fairclough absconded again. Um, so after he absconded again, you know, he never called us, never contacted us. And the next time I saw him after his arrest, I saw him in jail. And as I explained to him, we was in the prosecuting the ASR approved for another 30 days. You didn't give us a chance. You took off running again. So that's twice that Mr. Fairclough absconded from the program. Twice during the program, he turned up positive for drugs. Okay. Anybody else want to add anything to that? I think that um, his behavior is consistent with being addicted on drugs and meth, as we all know, is is a that's a drag on drug. I mean, it's. People get on that milk and it's hard to pick it. Yeah, I wonder who forced him to do that. Who put, who put it under his head and made him I become think, addicted to it? Yeah. Or was it a series of bad choices? Of course it was. I mean, I don't feel sorry for him. You made a choice just like we, we all make choices. But we all know better. You do too. You just elected to Take the dark side. You decided to dance with the devil. That's your choice. I'm not taking this deal. No, it's just bad. It, it just is a bad precedent. And he does what he does, what he did. Um, that would. Uh, Sir, did they say something? I'm not finished. Yeah. Uh, that would set a bad precedent for others who. Consistently failed after we, uh, there's a ton of money spent in the programs that you wasted. There was a ton of time and effort that you wasted, but you didn't do it once. You did it twice. You did it three times. Uh, you uh, are consistent in misbehavior and you know it was wrong. So um, well, most people do all right in the program but what we do up here and this is to the, the people who who like you did which was thumb your nose at all the attempts to try to help you the ironic thing is it seems like others care more about your well-being and your life than you do you know you you've quit care a long time ago you certainly don't care about others and doing the damage you did and we had a chance to help you get sober on this. But yet, uh, you have uh, more than one once uh, fled from the help because that's your choice. You chose to dance with the devil, and now you pay for it. There's a felony here, up to 10 years in prison in one case and up to two years in the state jail in, in the other. I'm just going to set these for a uh, hearing on the motion to revoke probations. That's the best way to do a dialogue. Thank you. May I judge? Yes, thank you. I appreciate it. Your All right. Uh, get this. I want to set. No, I'm rejecting the plea. We're going to get this set as soon as possible. This shouldn't. This is all administrative. Let's yes, get sir. this on a fast track. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. That is all. Thank you. Frank Patello. Uh -huh. 
Well, we're going to do our next fix with that one. Okay. Oh, where is he? He's in. He's in. He's in. Uh, 233758. There's a motion to revoke probation filed. It's an announcement. Yeah, what's, what's the announcement? Huh? That one is going to end up being on the uh, hearing because he has new cases. I think he got a case with the lady, two brand new cases. Another page. I don't see right here. I'll try to show you. No, no, no. Flip over, flip. Yeah. Flip. Yeah, you see. Okay. You picked up those two cases. Okay. Well, we'll just hear him in the motion to revoke probation here. That's what we're going to do. Right. When can you be ready for that? Whenever I, I, I make myself. Mm -hmm.